Thanks, everyone, for being here. Um, I'm going to hold it up so that you can see it. It is on the book table. Unfortunately, none of the contributors live in Toronto. Uh, three are in Montreal, one's in Cape Breton, and one is somewhere in um, New, uh, the US, probably New York. Um, usually, I give a kind of description of, of the pieces, but um, I thought maybe they would be better represented through themselves in, I thought maybe I should read the first two lines from each piece. There are five pieces of short fiction in it. Um, but then I didn't ask the authors for permission to, to, to read their piece and it's kind of, it's a bit weird. No one ever just kind of reads someone else's without um, asking permission. But, so I, I, I thought maybe like a little, It'd be like a cheese platter if I read the first two lines of each uh, of each story, but but it might also be a little bit like one of those allergy tests where you where you prick the arm. I've never had one of those, um, so I can only imagine it's some kind of instrument and this dipped or, or I'm not sure what that is. Um, so as the first prick of the arm um, would be. Uh, by Jacob Wren, who, uh, by the way, will be publishing uh, a novel of his next year. His first two lines, I read this quote from Chantal Ackerman. She is speaking about Jean-Luc Godard, colon. I didn't add the, the quotation, because, but grammatically is probably part of the first two sentences. Um, uh, the second piece uh, is by Cynthia <laughs> Girard. Um, it's a translation. She's a Quebec writer. I'm really excited to have her in this. I need to pierce a hole in my head or else it's going to explode. I spent some time this morning looking for a bit. I wanted to drill a hole the size of a quarter above my ear on the side of my head. Uh, the third one, John Goldbach, who's a fabulous Montreal writer. Um, he's a friend of mine, although he might disagree with me reading this which is the first two lines of his story. Um, I find pretty much everyone I've ever cared about disappointing, said Jenny. And it's always been this way, even when I was a little kid. No one can love you the way you want to be loved. It's just another sad fact. Uh, the fourth prick in our allergy test, uh, Ashin Karan, who's a fabulous writer who lives in Cape Breton now, the sea was immobile, and from it there rose a diminutive island of bare yellow rock. Its crest was at least as high, I thought, as my nest, and its cliffs were as straight as the mast below me. And the fifth uh, contributor, Lucy Ives, uh, she's an American, and I really have no idea whether she would disagree with me reading the first two lines of this. Uh, weather was his fiend, but most of the time he was lucky. His constellation was a sculpture garden created during the years of the lunatic's absence. So if you want to read anything more of these, you'll have to get one. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm.